This is going to happen whether you and I like it or not. We find it extremely hard to change, but change nonetheless we must. The speed of change in more areas of our life is increasing. I want to share what's changing and, and where it's changing in the world and, and who is it likely to impact and when might it happen and what might the consequences be and then sort of why respond to that, you know, why, why pay attention to what's not on our plate already to deal with and then finally actually something useful, what can we do about it? The issue is we don't need a lot of new things to think about in the future. The things that are in front of us that are already dysfunctional are the things we need to change, as well as all the things that are coming at us. Connecting with the connected world is what we will all have to do. If we take trends that have led up to today and simply project them forward, we're in huge danger of just using our history to project the future. So we can't really do that. We have to examine where are those trends coming from, what's driving them, and where are those discontinuities? Because opportunity exists in discontinuity. I just say as an encouragement to business that all is not despair at times of discontinuity. The ice will have completely disappeared in the North Pole by the end of the summer in about 10 years. Fresh water is the next big issue the world faces. Not talent, not energy, it's water. India and China, as a third of the world's population, are some of the places that have experienced the greatest water stress. Every one of your businesses should have every one of these issues on it and an answer about your position. At points of inflection, if we are prepared to see them as opportunities, we can act. You don't need 300 innovations in your company. You actually just need one.